Hi friends, today I want to share with you a couple of new things about my setup that I have created here for myself. It is a little bit different than it was before and it will make my production a whole lot simpler but also slightly different. What I'm talking about is an upgrade which basically means that now I have a studio that looks like this and if I take myself out of the way here and it's all around this little device right here which is the ATM Mini. And I have to say, I'm blown away as to what this thing can do. Let's bring me back in the corner here. I'm gonna keep this here for a moment in this type of setup so that you can see all the things that are going on here as I am demonstrating to you what I have been building here and also what I will be talking about in upcoming videos because a lot of those things that I have set up here aren't necessarily that self-explanatory and maybe this will help you make the process of making videos a little bit easier for you as well. Now this whole setup is moving away from the daily vlogger setup. This here is more of a central camera right in front of me and then a whole bunch of tools as you can see here that are helping me make certain things possible. It is also very much possible to produce a live show with the current setup that I have right here because the ATM, for example, can also be hooked up to my computer and use that output then to stream to YouTube through OBS or even directly into the YouTube web interface. So I can use this setup for live calls, I can use it for live streaming, and I can also use it for filming as I am doing right now, whilst this whole video is recorded here on my Adams Ninja V as it comes out of the ATM Mini. Now this whole setup is essentially inspired by Meet Kevin and he has a video right here and there you can look at this video and I will we'll link this in the description below where he shares this whole setup during a call with Sarah Dietschy. Now his device that he's using for this setup is called a Roland mixer and this is a video and audio mixer at the same time and it has tons of features. However, that costs around 6,000 US dollars just for the mixer itself and with that you still need a whole bunch of other things like for example cameras and stuff. Now on the other hand, looking at the device that I have set up here, we are talking about around 300 US dollars for the ATM Mini, which is the lowest one in the lineup of ATM products and it works wonders for this setup. Now there are newer and upgraded versions like for example the ATM Mini Pro, the ISO, as well as the Extreme and the Extreme ISO. And those all have their benefits. However, for the purpose of what I am doing here in this studio, as a starting point, this is perfectly sufficient and extremely powerful. So that's around 300. Then I have another device right here, which is called the Behringer X-Touch Mini. And this essentially is a MIDI controller. Now, this does not by default work with the ATM Mini. This is actually something that you will have to look up or hook up yourself to be able to control certain aspects. But what this makes possible is that I actually have way more controls here than on the ATM Mini. And for example, what I can do here, which I can't on the ATM because for example, on the ATM, I have the picture in picture positions and I can move this around. But as you can see, this looks more like, usually it looks like this. So you have this picture in picture that you can move around, but it's really tiny. And of course I can also enable it and disable it. But here, for example, you can see I can make it like so. And then I also have different positions, which I can access by simply twisting this button and actually can bring myself into the center as well. So I can bring myself all around the screen. I can reposition. And if I am sitting more on the left or the right, so that's possible. And I can also resize myself here in this little box. So those are some of the things that I have made possible with the Behringer X-Touch controller. And I also have a couple of audio controls here, which are not as uh, individual on the device itself. But more importantly is that I can use this as a switcher for switching between scenes. So for example, I can right now replace myself in the lower right hand corner. First up, can I make it wide? So that's possible. 
And then I can also, for example, show my display. So if I hit this button here once, then it's selected. Now it's putting that up into the little box on the corner there. And now if I hit the button again, it's actually switching those two controls or this, those two sources. So now the same thing, if I wanna bring back my main camera into the picture in picture, I simply hit this one button twice and it's right there. I hit it again, those two are switching places. And similar things are possible here on the left hand side. Again, I can put this back into the hair and now I can actually switch to, for example, my Mac. And there we have the big screen is showing the computer monitor. And then if I go here again, we are switching those two sources out. Again, those things are actually programmed and I'm working on a program that may even be able to be shared so that you could have the same or similar feature sets yourself. And I will make a video about all of this. However, I'm not sure when that will come because it is a, well, let's say it's a basic prototype, uh, but it's really remarkable what is possible when you are making those things yourself. Now, generally this whole setup makes a whole lot of things a whole lot easier for myself in my work here. It makes it, for example, so that I don't have to synchronize multiple video and audio files after the fact. I don't have to get cards from all kinds of different places, like behind the camera, I have a secondary camera, then maybe I film something with my phone, then I have to bring that also into the mix. And especially, and this is one of the most important aspects to all of this is that now if I switch to the computer, and I have, let's say I wanna bring back my main camera in the not wide format. When I switch to the computer, the computer has no extra work to be done whilst I am actually screen recording what is happening on the screen right here. And before I was having this whole setup here set up, I actually had to run a screen recording program on the computer whilst also running all of the other things around and then synchronize all of that in post. Now the problem with that was that the screen recording software itself, whether it's OBS or ScreenFlow, those are already taxing on the system. And the same thing is actually also true if for example, I am live streaming my computer screen for YouTube, then I have to capture the screen, which is the uh, desktop capture or display capture, I think in OBS, for example, and then that's also encoded and then sent onto the stream. But this way, I have my computer hooked up to the ATM mini here. So if I go back and show you this, I have my computer hooked up to this device right here on channel two. So if I hit the channel two button right there, let's go back onto this here so that we have that. If I hit this button, then we are actually switching to this channel. And if I put the picture in picture back, then we actually have the computer screen without the computer actually having to do any of the work whatsoever. So that's one of the big, big benefits that I see in this whole setup. The computer has less work. I have less work because I don't have to synchronize those files. I don't have to synchronize or take out any cards except for the one card that I have in the Atomos Ninja, which is an SSD. So the files are all getting recorded in progress on the Atomos Ninja V right here. And that means that my computer has less work whilst I am actually editing with those files. And bringing stuff into the picture in picture away like I have it right now, and also bringing it out like this, but especially removing or, or having different setups, like for example, the one that I have right now, and then switching it out like this. And maybe I wanna bring back this here and switch it out so that the main camera is in here. Like the possibilities are pretty much endless. And I had so much fun setting all of this up. I'm amazed as to how all of this is working out so far. It is really, really remarkable. Let's see if I can bring back my secondary camera here so that we have this kind of second view as of this here. Like, I don't know how much I can convey how exciting this is in terms of what kind of possibilities are in this setup. If you are excited about that too, I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Also, especially what kind of questions you might have around all of this. It is kind of remarkable. It is really magical to have all of this hooked up together. 
and it takes off so much of the workload that now can be done by these different devices whilst already filming instead of having to do all of that in the aftermath. Now there's one more thing that I actually have not shown you and that is that also my phone here is connected with a lightning to HDMI connection and it also can charge at the same time. And now I actually have a special button here on my uh, controller and if I hit that, you can see that now you actually have the phone screen in full size on the screen as well. So as I am now scrolling through things here, for example, you can see that those are showing all of the applications that I have installed. And if I wanna demo something, you can see I can launch this application, for example, open up certain menu points, start typing something, there we go. And I have that on the screen and I can work with that. And so that's just one of the many ways that I can work with all of this. And as I have this now, you can see we're back to the before. Now, as you can hopefully see, I'm really excited and I hope you are excited as well. I will make more videos and share a ton about the ATM Mini here. I will share about the X-Touch Mini from Behringer as well. And generally speaking about the whole setup and how all of this works together, how this is set up and what you might be able to achieve with that as well. And also maybe talk about some of the quirks, for example, the ATM Mini here. I will talk about how that is different when you use it in OBS versus when you are using it as a webcam. There's actually some quirks there. And yeah, I hope you are excited about all of that and are looking forward to the upcoming videos. I know I can't wait and I'm really excited to start working with this setup and bring you more content. Now, with all that said, if this video was inspiring, helpful, or in any kind of way interesting, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any questions or want to learn something about these specific setups here, then of course you can leave that in a comment and I will try to answer you or make a video specifically about that. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Make your setup as easy as possible so that you can create faster and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.